वेलकम व्यूअर्स टू माई चैनल ऑन द रेस्टोरेशन ऑफ विंटेज रेडियोज दिस इज अ फिलिप्स मीडियम वेव ट्रांजिस्टर रेडियो आई एम नॉट रियली श्योर ऑफ द मॉडल और द कंट्री ऑफ मैन्युफैक्चर बट आई स्ट्रॉन्गली सस्पेक्ट दट दिस मॉडल इज इन ऑल प्रॉबिलिटी मेड इन इंडिया एंड द रीजन आई से सो इज बिकॉज फिलिप्स कमेंस्ड operations in india way back in 1930 at that time most of the models were imported and subsequently it started manufacture of radios in 1948 at calcutta and all these radio models aren't very well documented and that's probably the reason that not much information is available on this particular model Well this radio has a, a kind of a very boxy feel to it but on the other hand boxy radios do sound very well there's just one screw which is holding the back cover after opening it you got to lay it down flat on the table first otherwise all the cells will just tumble out and you can see that these are all philips components and they are marked by the typical philips nomenclature so it's a genuine philips radio there's no doubt about that except there's no label inside indicating the model number or the country of manufacture when i received this set it wasn't functioning at all and you can see from the photographs that the volume control had broken and the first thing i set about was basically just to make the amplifier section working again so i recapped all the electrolytics now this is a simple super heterodyne radio and it has a push pull output stage but it has only one transformer meaning that the output stage is actually directly coupled to the loudspeaker which actually does make the sound much better but then on the other hand the impedance of the loudspeaker goes up from the usual 4 or 8 ohms to almost 20 to 25 ohms to sum up the restoration work amounted to change of the volume control uh, the recapping uh, the fixing of the battery compartment and of course retuning the if coils I hope you like this video. Do see my other videos on vintage radios and electronics. Thanks for watching.